What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Drisco coming at you guys with another video and today boys we did get all the information about Mad Ultimate Team coming this year. Uh, we got all the information. We do have a blog link we're going to go over right now. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now before we do hop into this information, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It will be highly appreciated. And also I am running a giveaway on my Twitter account for a free copy of Madden 21. I will drop a link of the post in the description below. So now we're about to go ahead and hop into these gridiron notes, basically a blog of Man 21's ultimate team. Um, this is basically everything with it. They did say that they they left some stuff out. So once we do play it um, on the 20th, the 21st for EA Access, there will be some stuff that's still new um, that we won't see on here. But uh, this is generally covering everything that's really new to Mud. That's really really like that's really that's gonna make a difference really. Um, so first things first. We have ability caps. Ability caps are finally coming into the game. Uh, people kept talking about last year, what if ability caps come, what if, what if, what if, and basically they're implemented into this game. Um, so basically it says right here, arguably the biggest addition coming to month this year is a, a feature called we're calling ability caps. Ability caps adds a new layer to team building that allows you to customize how you want your team to perform on the field. So basically this will be, um, you could customize basically your, your ability that you want. So, certain abilities will, will cost cap. There's going to be certain caps to like like special abilities, like that the really really good ones. There's going to be caps and stuff to them, um, and, and they're they're going to be higher as as it gets as it gets better basically. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and show you an example right here. Um, it says some examples for improviser QB red zone dead eye is one AP. That's what they're calling the ability caps. Um, while escape arts is 3 AP so it depends on your archetype and it depends on the ability if the ability is not Common to the archetype if it's not really something that the archetype would use that ability is going to be higher So it, it just depends um, and also just how sp how good the ability is um, It says additionally hot route master is 2 AP for field general but 4 AP for scrambling QB So let's just say down the road we have golden tickets and stuff those um, of AP AP points, they're going to be higher for those golden ticket players because they have, you know, the escape artist and the hybrid master. Those, like, it's going to be basically more than if it's a if it's a field general QB, basically. And this is huge because basically, just down the line, basically, and just this is now you have to really you have to use it wisely. You have to use this stuff wisely, and you have to know um, just just what you want to do, basically, what your scheme is, how you want to play. Um, so ba you, you, you're going to want to do this right basically. Um, it says when it comes to X factors, these will exist in the AP system. You will still only be able to have three X factors per side of the ball. But good news, all default X factors are going to cost zero AP. So if it's a default X factor, it's going to cost zero. No AP will be added. Um, it, it won't be uh, put in that total basically. If we release additional variations of X factors with different trigger or knockout conditions, which I will talk about later. There's different uh, X factors that, that can have like different stuff, basically, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, it says those may be balanced by adding AP cost to them. For every eligible player, we'll have an option to toggle the X factor on or off. If you need to make AP changes to superstar ability, you have to go directly to the player and make adjustments there. Um, it says the AP limit at launch. Here this guys at launch is 10. So it can get higher as the as the year go on. And it, they said they will up the the points. They the, the limit for it will go up through the year. So it just depends um when exactly they're gonna do it, but they're gonna do it throughout the year. Um so at launch it will be 10. I feel like 10 is a, a really good number. Um it's not the worst thing ever. It says we will have a few points during the year where we will increase the AP limit. It also is important to note that review AP cost for any given um, ability as a way to balance the meta. So they're trying to balance the game basically. We will likely have points in the year where we need to make some adjustments to AP cost. So if ability becomes overpowered, they're going to shoot that AP up. That's what that basically is saying. So you know, like you have to, when you want to use that overpowered ability, you have to put some more AP to it basically. Um, so that's how that's really going to work. They're really going to use it like that. So, you know, like stuff like escape art, stuff like that is, they're going to put AP, they're going to put a lot of AP on it. Um, these are just some screenshots, screenshots right here. So we got Bobby Wagner. Um, this is Tackle Supreme. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Um, so we got Tackle Supreme, 2 AP for Tackle Supreme. Um, goal line stuff, 3 AP. Um, and then this is the X Factor right here. So this X Factor is a default, which is, it's not, 
it's not a special type of X Factor basically and this has zero AP so this will not go to, to that 10 count total basically um so yeah that that's how they that's how it will work reach elite one AP so it's just certain stuff have has certain um so just just a certain a certain number to it um so it just depends how good it is and stuff like that um but that's basically everything about ability caps um let me see if i missed anything da, da, da. if you make it okay um yeah i don't think i missed anything so that that's basically it um yeah so it's, it's still gonna be three three on offense and three on defense it just depends how good that ability is and like just how many points you you, you want to put towards that total basically um so it's still gonna be three on offense three on defense it's not gonna be more than three um basically right here we're in the lineup menu basically and it's just saying how it shows how much ap is getting put towards that one player basically that one player is that, that this is how much he's taking up um basically with your ap count so it says five out of ten right here because three is going to aaron donald and two is going to bobby Wagner. so it will show you right here on your lineup screen how much is going towards um and when you click on it basically this is the whole screen right here where you click on it and you want to see what abilities you have on him it will say all this and you can deactivate him just like this by, by pressing y this will deactivate him um and it says the final thing to touch on for ability caps is that because of the system we are going to allow up to five abilities for individual player five abilities up to an individual player um the breakdown look like this eight overall tier one uh, ability slot 85 overall tier two ability slot 90 overall tier 3 ability slot 98 overall tier 3 uh ability slot um so basically this so basically when you're a 99 overall you'll get five abilities that's basically what this is saying um when you're a 99 overall you'll get two tier three abilities you get one tier two ability and one tier one ability i'm pretty sure that's what this is saying um so day one if you can get a player up to 90 overall he will have three abilities day one and he will have one tier three ability that's what this is basically saying um and now they get into the new item layout so basically with the card art um they wanted to um they wanted to make a difference between focused and unfocused so for man 21 um when you're unfocused unfocused means you're not like hovering over that player card so if you're if you're in your item binder or some and you're not hovering over that player it will look like this it's going to be an 80 20 basically it's gonna be 80% of the, the card art, and then 20% is over here is, is the the um your your details about the card basically. When you do click on that player, it's gonna be a 50-50. This whole entire time they were showing the 50-50, um, but uh, like really in in in, in, a, in actual EA terms, it's actually an 80-20 when you um when you're not focused on that card basically. So that's how it's gonna be. This was how how it was last year. Um, and they basically want to sit they, they, they said that last year it was more uh complex based so this year they want to make it more simple for when you actually click on like when you're hovering over the car you can see more when you're just hovering over him so that's what they wanted to do um so i'm glad they did that i'm glad they changed it just back to 80 20 um for when you're when you're not hovering over i'm glad it doesn't look like that universally um no matter what i'm glad um, so this is an example of it right here so when you're hovering over a card 50 50 you can see the abilities you have on him you can see all of that without even clicking on him you just all you have to do is hover and you can literally see his abilities and all that it all shows right here um and then as you go to the card it will it'll it'll pop up more um but if you if you're not hovering over them it's just gonna be an 80 20 and that's how it's gonna look so you can basically see more of the card art like that um and basically this is just the line screen also um, it also says we also did some work to move the back of the uh, the back of the item now when you action on the item um, You are taken to a full screen where you are consolidated the options from six tabs previously now previously to now three Overall, we feel like this is more optimized for overall experience um, So basically when you click on the card, it's gonna show like that This is what what the card gonna like when you actually click on it and it and then, you know It opens up it's gonna have compare all this right here. And it's gonna be three tabs Three tabs, that's it. Um, and then through the tabs, uh, that, that this was the home. Um, so this, I like, I like how this looks. Um, and then we got the attributes right here. It will show key attributes right here. Um, so it's not gonna like flip over like it usually would. Um, it's gonna show the stats right here in full, in, in, in just a better view basically, which I do like. I feel like this is a way better view. Um, so it will also show weight now, which is also I, I really like that. So salary cap right here, how much he's, how much he's worth in salary cap. And then right here, this is the upgrades where you would go through the power up and stuff like that and add uh, ability and stuff to them. This is what this would look like for the upgrades and stuff. 
Um, so yeah, you, you could change the chemistry, the uh, positions. You'll be able to do all that at launch, which is a W. I'm glad, I'm glad they brought that from last year, the changing positions. Um, so you'll definitely be able to do that. Um, you got training right here. So I feel like, personally, I feel like all these changes to the UI and stuff like that, I feel like these were really, really good changes. Um, like I said, the card art is not the best thing ever, but it's just that if you hover over the item, it's going to be a 50-50. If you don't hover over them, it's going to be an 80-20. So that's basically more of the story right there. Um, so we got our first promo. This will be the day one promo, and this will be the first thing you get into, the first promo that you really like get players from. It's called Rivals. And basically, you do solo challenges. The first is the first set of solo challenges you do. You will get uh, uh, 85. You get to choose an 85 overall Ben Roethlisberger, Zach, Zach Ertz, or Jalen Smith. So you have to choose from one of the three, one of those three players um, to add to your team. Um, and then we also got team captains. Team captains is coming back. It's going to be four players. Uh, we got Eddie George, um, Leroy Glover, Eddie, uh, Ed McCaffrey, and, uh, and we also got Aeneas Williams. Um, so those are going to be the four um, team captain players. And basically, you're going to play challenges, and you're going to be able to use all of them. You're going to use uh, each one in each of these games. Just try them out, see if you like them. And if you do choose one that you don't want, there's going to be an exchange day one, which is a huge, huge W that will be exchanged day one, which I really do like. I, I, I really, I'm really glad they did that. Um, this is the pack right here. Um, these are the players. Um, and they do go up to an 87 overall. Yeah, 87 overall they do go up to. Um, which is a pretty solid overall, even though last year they did go up to a 90. But, I mean, it is what it is. Now, I do want to show you guys their stats. Um, so, for the rivals, Jalen Smith, this is what his stats will look like. A3 speed, A6 XL. Not too bad. Um, now, we'll have another video showing um, you know, which ones you should get. Uh, we do got Zach Ertz right here. 80 speed, A7 catch, A2 catch in traffic. Not too bad. Uh, let's keep on going. We got the Arenas Williams. Um, so, Eddie George, which is one of the team captains. 85 speed, 85 XL. Not too bad, A6 truck, really good. I really do like that car, he's really good. Um, Ed McCaffrey, I'm glad he's coming back. 85 speed, um, A6 medium route running, 80 deep route running, A6 catching traffic, pretty solid. We got Leroy Glover, um, 75 speed, 85 excel, um, 85 uh, finesse move, and A6 tackle, pretty solid. And those were all of the um, team captains and rivals. So now I'm going to get into another promo, which is the NFL Epics. We had this last year, and it was just two players. This year it will be four players now. Um, and basically it's going to be Larry Fitzgerald, Adrian Peterson, Ronnie Lott, and Jack Youngblood. Um, so you will get, you, you'll be, if you if you do a solo challenges, um, it's going to will earn you uh, 85 version of that player. Um, so I think you have to choose one. Um, I think you have to choose one side, if I'm not mistaken. Making progress with me. Uh, see, I think I think it's just one. I, th I did get a play from one side, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So, um, no, no. I, okay, okay. So you have to. Okay, so basically you have to just finish that solo sequence for that player. Because if you once you finish the stuff for this player, then you'll get that player. So you can pick and choose who you want from this, basically, and you can do all of them and get all the players. So that's I really do like that. Um, and then now get into the butt master. Um, the Mutt Master, A. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was not expecting this at all. But the Mutt Master is Sam Mills. Sam Mills is the Mutt Master. He is a middle linebacker, and he's uh the middle. The Mutt Master will go up to a 94 overall, if I'm not mistaken. 94. Yeah, he, he goes up to a 94 overall. Um, now Sam Shields, basically they say they chose him because he um he was diagnosed with a disease. He came back. He still coached for a team, and he just he just he just fought back from a disease. Basically, he fought back from something that was really, um, really beating him up, and he fought back and still, you know, did something in the NFL, coached and everything. So that's why they said they chose him. Um, I really wish they they, they would have with Luke Kuechly or Patrick Willis if they if they if they was going to do linebacker. And it does say right here, Mutt Match will start out at 75 overall, and um, he's he's going to go up to a 93 overall. Uh, from the main list and there's gonna be a separate list it says different from this year is a separate series based objective list that will earn um, earn you another plus one overall two meals these opportunities to add another plus one overall to um to the month master will come it come out each series until Sam reaches 99 overall so basically that's how they will upgrade the month master is through series updates and uh, every single series he will go up overall so Basically, day one, you can get him up to a 94. That's what it's basically saying. Day one, you can get him up to a 94 overall because it's, it's going to be series one, day one, basically. Um, then we do we got level master. We got Andre Johnson. 
I really do like this choice. Um, his stats are not the best, but um, like I said, I do like this choice. Okay, so now I'll show you guys the stats for these cards. Um, so we do got the NFL Epic players. They do have go. They, they they do go up to an 85 overall. So we got Larry Fitzgerald right here. Um, Adrian Peterson. Uh, let me uh, let me go back. I, I went a little too fast. Adrian Peterson, A6 speed, 85 Excel, uh, A2 agility. Um, really really good card. I really do like this card. Um, we got Ronnie Lott, 85 speed, 87 Excel, A2 zone, A3 hit power. Um, pretty solid. He, he's gonna he's gonna be hitting people on the field. Um, we got Jack Youngblood, 79 speed, A6 Excel. Um, 88 power move. Um, let's keep on going. Uh, we got the level master right here, Andre Johnson. A6 speed, A9 jump, A7 catching, um, A7 spec, 85 short short route running, 86 medium route running. Now another thing about the level master, it does say right here, level master will have the capability to equip any team chemistry and unlock various alternate versions of X factors that have different trigger and knockout conditions. That is a super, super, super W. I really like that. Um, they're, just, they're just making it more special. So basically, their uh, x Factors will have different, just different conditions to them, basically. Just make them kind of better than other cards and just different than other cards. Um, so now, getting to Team Builders. Um, basically, it says right here, Team Builders provide a new, another great way to, uh, to get your theme team started. Play through the 16 game challenge sequence to earn a fantasy pack. That pack will first let you choose one of 32 uh, NFL teams from there. Choose between an 84 offensive or defensive team builder. Um, so basically, this means you can go either way on offense or defense. Um, but once you complete the challenge, it'll be an 84 overall. And I feel like these would be a super, super W. I feel like you definitely need to do these. These would definitely get your team right. Um, and then now talking about team diamonds. Team diamonds are huge. Like these are gonna like really change the game. Um, it's a lot of them too, and I really feel like these are. There's some good names in here. Um, so basically, Team Diamonds is from last year. It's where you get you know like like just special, um, not legends, but like just just star players from like from the past basically. Um, so the the Team Diamonds master is Barry Sanders. This is absolutely nuts. They did not show his stats, but I know this card's gonna be disgusting. 100. percent um, Now I'm not gonna read read off every single name, but I uh, got Bears Jam, uh, Tequila Spikes. I really like him. Uh, Yaka Pazaria, if y'all want to. Um, Kyle Williams is really good. Um, Elvis Dumavir, really, really solid card. Bob Sanders will be on my team day one. I'm telling you that right now, he will be on my team. Um, Eric Weddle, pretty solid. Dante Hall, I like him. Um, Travis Frederick, really good. Um, Roddy White. Um, who else we got? Uh, we got Sante Samuel, Rich Gannon, uh, Max Strong. Um, and London, London Fletcher. Lon I, I know London, London Fletcher was really, really good. So he's going to be coming too. Um, so that's basically all the team diamonds. Um, then we got a screenshot right here just showing some of the players. Um, and they are 87 overall. They're going to be 87 overall. And it says exchange bear players to earn 87 overall. So basically, it's going to be like last year where you have to put players into this set. So um, what I would do day one is collect a bunch of these cards, like literally open packs and uh, just collect a whole bunch of cards because some of these cards might go for coins because, you know, they, they go into these sets. So saving saving some of these cards is going to be really, really key. Um, and they'll say legends. They didn't show any legends, but basically they said that uh, legends are going to be two. It's going to be two a weekend, basically. It's going to be two a weekend, not three. So I don't think there's going to be a limited time, if I'm not mistaken. Um... We'll have limited time ball. So, uh, but yeah, yeah. So, basically, it says both players, uh, both of those players will have limited time boss versions. With uh, the boss version, they will match ratings with a fully powered version. So, there will be still limited times, but it's only going to be of two players. And, th and that that limited time is going to be a boss version, which means they're like they have ba basically better stats of the original version of the original full card. Basically, it's going to be a boss version that has better stats. Um, that is a limited time, so limited times on the weekends will still be a thing, so don't worry about that. And um, down here, we just have console transition, basically just saying um, whenever you go over to the, the next Xbox, right, the next PlayStation, you can go backwards. You can go back to the original Xbox, and you will still have your coins, basically. It just has to be in that family. As long as you're going from um, the, pre the, the next Xbox and the previous Xbox, you will have your coins. But you can't go from an Xbox to a PlayStation. It will not work like that. And that's basically all the same right here. Um, but that's basically all of the blog. Um, like I said, they did. Um, they, they didn't release everything. Um, they, they, they didn't say that, that this is like all the stuff that's being added to MUT. Um, this is basically just, just a general consist of what's being added of the new stuff. 
um and they they um they did also drop the um the ratings reveal on my head so i'm gonna drop that in the link also we'll have a bunch of videos going over that too um so that's basically it about the blog all right guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe for more and until next time peace